very bumpy landing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we have Leah Simmons going on here. Radiates is the name of the song. What do we got going on here, Carl? Right. Leah Simmons is so solo artist um, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, USA. So your neck of the woods, Tom ish and um, singer, guitarist, songwriter and producer constantly creating jams about who knows what. And she's on various social media. Um, yeah, it's um, looks like her influences shared influence with me would be David Bowie, but she also likes Florence, the machine. Uh, Fleet Foxes, The Shins, Cigarette After Sex, Cigarettes After Sex, uh, Ella Fitzgerald, Manchester Orchestra, Band of Horses. Half of them I haven't heard of, and some of them I have. I was listening to Fleet Foxes the other day. So, I, yeah, I think this one's an interesting song. Um, Radiate is just being released pretty much in the last week. And so it's her one, her latest one out. Okay, so we got. I was trying to see the uh, the history here. Not bad. Ten tracks, seven hundred fifty nine plays, seventy three followers uh, really? for uh, for uh, Leah Simmons there. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, my hometown, by the way. So yeah, ah. my neck of the woods there. No longer live in Fort Lauderdale on the other coast. But uh, here's Leah Simmons with uh, Radiate. Check this one out. What am I supposed to do? Without you Well, I guess I'm a little bit lonely yeah. Everybody's got something going on Well, I'm just stuck at home Wondering
take the comments away, whoever would like to. Justine? Sure. <laughs> um, I thought it was a soothing listen. Um, it's obviously folk, um, but she sounds very country. Um, that twang in her voice just kind of really brings it that direction. It's a great voice. Um, I did see her on videos. She makes these great expressions. She's wonderful to watch. Um, pretty <laughs> as well. And uh, she is normally a, a solo um, acoustic performer around Florida. Um, but she did this song with a, a producer, a separate studio and some professional musicians apparently. And it's just, I think it's really well done. Um, I think the final third of the song was my favorite. The instruments come in more heavily. Um, they drown her, her voice out a little bit, but it blends well. Um, I think that it's, it's just a beautiful flow. There's a, a phrase near the end in the lyrics where she says, true bliss is found in the effortless. And the way the music follows that is, is just real smooth, real pretty, um, beautiful. Um, other than that, I, I liked that she had a bio uh, and her own website. Plenty of info on her. It's wonderful. Mm. Carlos Fanego. Yeah, it's funny because when I first heard the opening few phrases of the singing, I thought, oh, okay, another one of those type of singers where they've got that kind of quirky, slightly quirky voice. And then within a couple of lines after that, I thought, oh, no, no, this this is someone with a really good voice. And she's got a really interesting delivery. Whether it's just this song, I don't know, or, or um, there are more songs like this, just the way she delivers. But this is an excellent delivery, really good voice. Um, liked it a lot. And yeah, country tinged ballad with soulful feel about it because you've got that sort of jazz organ coming in subtly. It's well produced and, and the, the instruments, as Justin says, are blended nicely. The drum sound, particularly the snare, it's got a real thwack to it and it's a great, yeah, real thud. Lovely sound they've got on the drums there. Um, but uh, it's got a lot going on. It's a nice build, it's a nice structure. Again, yeah, could I wouldn't be unhappy to hear a you know, a lot of these songs have could have a space potentially for um, a solo of sorts. And here, you know, I suppose the obvious thing to do would be a slide guitar, but it, it did, doesn't miss not having a sort of a really clear sort of solo. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, nice structure, good build, good production, and definitely listen to that a few times. It kind of like just just piggybacking on your point here with the uh, with with having a um, a solo in there of some sort, right? I think that if you did an extended version of the song, it wouldn't hurt, hmm. especially if you were going to perform the song live at a festival or something like that. Then you could really have that instrumental or chorus break in the middle and uh, and and you know make it a real great song. Her voice really surprised me at the beginning. I was I was expecting something totally different. I don't know what it was exactly that I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting her voice to come in like that. It mm -hmm. came it came in in this in this kind of like really low register, kind of like a Janis Joplin feel to it. You know what I mean? And um and and I was I was kind of blown away by that. And uh, I got to say that the um it's it's a very mellow uh, kind of like classic Americana like kind of like country kind of thing going on here, and uh, and and I liked it. It's a pro production, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Um. All the instruments are in line. I like the little uh, the electric guitar kind of like subtly in the background, right? Where so it wasn't like super overpowering. So everything was just nicely done. Her vocals were the feature of the song, uh, but as Justine had mentioned, like towards towards the middle third maybe portion of it, the vocals dropped a little bit and they were a little bit overwhelming. So um, all around, I think great song. And I got to say, I do think that we are going to hear much, much, much more from Leah in the uh, in the future. Um, as far as the song goes, once again, pro quality. I think that I don't know. I don't know if that vocal drop was done on purpose or not. If it if it was not, then very easily fixable. But I got to say, very commercial song here. Very commercial yeah. song, yeah. and a nice halfway a nice halfway point for us. Yes. 
Okay. Well, <laughs> with, that being, with that being said, here's our halfway point. Once again, for all of you uh, watching on YouTube or listening at home, um, I guess whenever the podcast comes back, if we do bring back the podcast, in fact, uh, but for whatever portion that you're in, we are going to take our uh, five, 10 minute break here right now. Uh, for you, it will once again be absolutely 100% seamless. We shall be back with you shortly with more great indie music. And if once again, if you don't know where to find these musicians or the links to them, please visit the link to visit the links in the video description below. Click on these people, go find their music, show them some love. Visit Justine Painter, our special guest commentator today. Visit Carlos Fandango. Uh, visit all these underground musicians. Show some love. We really appreciate the, the musicians for pumping out the music that they do. And uh, they deserve a little something in return. So with that said, the underground sound, we are putting the us back into music. So please do like, subscribe, and share. And let's get your music out there. And we will be back shortly here. <laughs> 